What's up, my friends? We have some Town Hall 9 attacks today, just showing you some uh, Go La Loon strategy. Now, this is, uh, I got a lot of different bases, some maxed out. This obviously has max heroes and not quite the defenses. Uh, but, you know, on these golem type strategies, this is a one, using one golem. There's different strategies when using one and two. I'm going to bring them both. Uh, but the main he difference here is you're just obviously uh, dropping the golem and then wizards around it. Obviously, you want to start from the outside in. You know, put those uh, wizards on the outside and then drop the queen down so she'll take down the middle. And then, then you wait till the outside buildings obviously are cleared. Then you drop your bowlers and king. That's how you kind of create that funnel in case... You know, you were a little concerned of how to do that. Uh, the key here, obviously, taking down the air defenses. And the queen will get two, and so this is actually already starting out to be a great attack. Here comes the air portion. Now, those loons to the south, they're a little bit too far. You didn't need to drop those. I'm not sure why. They're going to take forever to get to those uh, defenses. So the, the hounds were kind of caught alone, which I was a little concerned with. Uh, that he might not get this three star because of that bad placement at the beginning uh, but because of the defenses were kind of lower uh, and not a maxed out town hall nine this attack is going to get three starred so nice that he saved loons for the back end i would always say add a little more at the beginning but save at least four loons for the back end of the attack four or five uh, and that way uh, you will make sure that you can spread them out. So why do you save loons for the back end? People might be wondering, well, what's the point of it? Well, the point of it is usually there's a wizard tower on the back end or two. So you want to drop, you know, one set um, of loons and then the other. So when the wizard tower locks on, it's not hitting all your loons at once because you want to spread it out. Um, because again, wizard towers destroy loons. So you got to be prepared to kind of split your army in two. Now these are tough defensive bases. This is a maxed out one except for the heroes, but the hero co or level are comparable. The attacking is not maxed either. So they're definitely comparable uh, at that. This is the two golem strategy. So with the two golem strategy, you're obviously emphasizing the kill squad. So the kill squad is the first phase of the attack, emphasizing this one to really take down more of the base. And with this one, you put the rage first, and then you drop the heal after the rage. Obviously, you drop some poison to take clear of the clan castle. And then you drop the heal. He, I think he was a little bit late on that heal. He could have healed up some of his bowlers a little bit quicker and some of the golems as well. Uh, so a little late on that. He should have already dropped it. See, it didn't really do much. You can tell the bowlers are already dead and the wizard. So make sure you drop the heal, rage first. Give it maybe one or two seconds. Then drop that heal right after. Uh, but because of the kill squad took out pretty much half the base, this air portion that only has two hounds and it um, only has to deal with two air defenses. So you can tell perfect spread on the loons, uh, but he look, he has a jump spell, which I don't think he needed to bring a jump spell. So because he, this compartment, how it was with the, the, the kill squad could have gotten a lot of the base. So no jump spell needed, just actually something you need to consider. Do you actually need a jump spell um, for the attack? He could have brought an extra rage or th um, some uh, haste spells as well. So just giving you some extra Town Hall 9 Go La Loon attacks. Why would you use the Go La Loon guys? Well, these air defenses, I mean, these bases these days do not do well against uh, air attacks. They're usually set to ground attacks. Like Expos are usually set to ground. The air defenses are on the outside. So if there's a base like that, go with the Go La Loon. Um, it, it works out well. Now, if you don't feel comfortable with air, this is a great way to practice, do some friendly challenges, uh, and it will go well for you. Obviously, look at this perfectly executed. He brought in some wall breakers for the outside and used the jump in the core. And there's the perfect heal. So as I said, he waited probably two or three seconds after the rage and then dropped that heal to make sure his bowler stayed alive as long as possible. But look at this, half the base is down and there you go. Now when you're doing the air portion obviously there's three defenses left why would he attack from the north well you can tell that queen is probably going to drift towards the east air defense so you don't need to drop your hounds there you need to drop them on this side and that's what he does perfectly 
two at once and then the loons behind it and pretty much from here on out it is over. He's going to save that rage for that core area where that last air defense and wizard tower is. Very smart. Um, just be patient on that rage. Make sure you put it in the prime location. Uh, and look, he saved four loons for the back end. So what is that going to guarantee? He's going to be able to drop some on those Teslas there. Um, because look at all those clumped up loons. If there was a wizard tower, say in the west east there, see the, that wizard tower would have hit those loons all together. So that's why you save four what I said before. Anyways, there's some Town Hall 9 attacks. Hope you enjoy, guys. And clash on. We'll see you next time. Halo 3.